My name is Rob Zemanchik. I'm the marketing manager for the Case IH Crop Production Equipment. Uh, we're here in Denver, Colorado today at the introduction of the new 5 Series Early Riser Planter. I'd like to uh, go over some of the highlights of the planter that no-till growers might uh, appreciate. Uh, with the challenges today of current crop production and rotations and seed treatments, there are a lot of changes that we took into account with the new 5 Series Early Riser Planter. And, but we held on to those things that were also working very well for us. So the early riser row unit is still very much the same. We continue to have the leading edge openers at a 10 and a half degree angle with the coulter on the front being slightly ahead of the one in the rear to cut residue without hairpinning into the seed trench. That's important for no-till growers. In addition, we keep the furrow forming point to avoid W bottoms forming inside the seed trench. Also critical for uniform depth of placement and uniform emergence. The shoe keeps that mellow sidewall of soil inside the seed trench from collapsing in as we go through the field and that's also important for keeping uniform depth of placement. This all sets up for the trailing gauge wheels. I happen to have it disassembled here right now but we maintain the trailing gauge wheel style. This avoids bumping and aggressive uh, reactions to the forces and moments that, encounter, that occur when you encounter bumps in the field. So like the wheelbarrow, we can roll gently over field anomalies to navigate the terrain, which is easy on the row unit and allows us to place the seed consistently in the furrow. The two-stage closing system continues to be a highlight feature of the planter with the opposing double disc closers as well as the semi-pneumatic herringbone surfaced press wheel at the back to be gentle on that seedling and its environment to provide uniform soil density in the trench. So all of this is the seed uh, uh, row unit assembly on the planter. In addition, let's look at some of the new features for this year. If we uh, call out this system, this assembly, this assembly is our AccuDrive system. And what it enables us to do is use a very closed technology to keep dust and residue and other contaminants from entering into the drive system. We replace sprockets and chains, roller chains and so forth, and now have a cable drive system. We tested it with 40 years of equivalent benchtop testing without lubrication without any servicing. And as long as you keep them sealed, this is possible. Every cable drive system on every row of the planter is positioned to have a consistent uh, shape to it. We don't have contortions or sharp angles to negotiate. There's a gentle curve and that is held in position. That way there's no one point along this line where premature wear or forces or failures could occur. And as long as we keep the unit sealed, we find it does an excellent job. To help with that, you have at each terminal ending of the cable drive system, the gearbox. One picks up the force off the hex drive shaft. There you see the hex shaft that sits in the middle. And as that rotates, power is transferred to the seed meter. In addition, electronic clutches on every row are provided to the grower and he can disengage those rows using GPS and, uh, to intercept uh, previous passes, waterways, point rows, etc., terraces and other features in the field to avoid double applying seed, creating stress on those plants and of course the cost of the seed savings itself. So this all goes together to formulate our AccuDrive system for the 5 Series Planner.